Welcome to this video in which I like to share with you a easy to follow workflow that contains control net and also all the upsampling and face restoration. Control net is a brilliant invention and it is a really fun way to steer your images into a certain direction. This ballerina watercolor painting for instance, her pose is not by accident. Her pose is made via control net and I used an image that I downloaded from the internet. It's only 512 pixels. And one of the control net preprocessors is uh, Edge Finder, and that is an intermediate image that is then used by the sampler uh, conditioning. And the outcome is well exactly the pose that we see here in this um, Edge drawing. Isn't that wonderful? In the same fashion, you could use a drawing as the base. This is a simple drawing of a house with the same edge finder. We find the edges of the drawing, which is uh, of course the same drawing in this case. And then we can make a wonderful picture out of that. Uh, another example, if finding edges is difficult in a certain image, then we can use a depth image, which is uh, the whiter the area is, the nearer and the blacker the dark areas are further away. And via a control net model, uh, it can be used, this depth map, uh, to create an image of your liking with the exact uh, pose that the original image has. Uh, it need not be this exact, you can control how much influence your control net will have. Uh, another example, here we have the same ballerina and we now use the open pose preprocessor which uh, makes a simple thread model of the pose. Uh, all the details are gone but that is enough for uh, the sampler via control net uh, to uh, create a photograph of a chimpanzee swinging in the trees. If you like to work with control net in Comfy UI, well obviously it has to be installed as a custom node and we always use the manager for that. See a previous video to install the manager if you do not yet have it. Um, and then the uh, Fanovel 16 uh, is the one that uh, you can install and that has all the preprocessors that you need. Besides this custom node, we also need the control net models. And for that, uh, we can go to the Civit AI website. Uh, do a search for control net XL and then we find plenty of models. If you still use the older stable diffusion, then go to control net 1.1 models and download the models over there. You can of course download them all, but that is really not necessary. In practice, I found out in my case that 98% of the things I would like to do can be done with these eight models. So if you download these as a start, then you can also always download more later if you have uh, other desires. In the previous video, we created this default workflow where in the first three steps, the image is created and well, you generate a lot of images until you find a nice one. And then what's new, <laughs> this switch, there you can switch on the upscaler. And the upscaler has a latent upscale here. And then maybe if you like a face uh, detailer, which you can simply bypass. And then uh, it's the final step, an image upscaler. What needs to be done uh, to uh, add control net is uh, control net is going to sit between this positive prompt and uh, the sampler. So what we need to do is make some room over here. Let me just move these around and then we are going to find the uh, control net node. 
uh, control net apply that's the one and it sits here between the positive prompt and the input of the positive prompt in the sampler that's all well that's not all we see that we need to add the control net and need to add an image well uh, i already prepared it to gain some time uh, this is the uh, control net column and uh, the rest of the uh, workflow is exactly 100% the same. We can simply uh, switch on and off the control net because this is the node that we are talking about, the control net node. And uh, yeah, I can simply bypass it, press control B, and we could generate an image. And uh, if we would have a look over here, what is going to be generated? It is a ballerina uh, in watercolor painting style and uh, in, with the color orange. That's all I asked for in the prompt. Well, I also mentioned Andre Kohn as the artist. So this is in the style of Andre Kohn. Well, this is a ballerina, but I would like to have a ballerina with this pose. And well, what we see in the meantime, our preprocessor, which is the Kenny Edge processor, uh, did its work. It evaluated the input image and came out with these uh, edges. And I can now enable the control net and I have to uh, put here uh, in the uh, model the Kenny Edge um, because I used here in the, as the preprocessor the Kenny Edge. So that has to be consistent. Let's do it again. Um, we are going to see what comes out in six steps, uh, but it takes a bit more time with the control net than without the control net. So uh, we have to be patient, but we will see that we will get a ballerina with exactly this pose that we put in. Well, that worked quite nice, so uh, I'm happy with this result. Let's change the input image uh, to this one, woman with view, and let's see what happens with our Kenny edges. If I start it, uh, we don't get a lot of information. Now we can try to tinker here with the settings. Uh, if I put that one lower, that might help. Yeah, but still there's maybe not enough detail. So in some cases uh, the edge finder cannot really find, but we also have a depth map. So let's try our depth map. Um, I already prepared them in this workflow, so they are available. I, also, I only have to enable it and the output uh, goes to this uh, 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 rerouting node and I disable my Kenny Edge. Of course now over here I have to select the depth, uh, not the standard one but the XL one. Uh, oh, there it is already, the depth, yeah. And then we can enable this one again and start to render. And then we should see over here a depth map. Uh, yeah, there it is. That was the preprocessor and now the uh, image generator is working. So let's see what it is going to do for us. Um, I think it takes about 20 seconds for a 1000 pixel image to generate on my 37 8 gigabyte uh, video card. So that is still quite okay. Well, we have a quite nice watercolor painting uh, by Andre Kohn again of a woman with a view. Uh, so this is how control net works. Let's do one more example. The, the monkey, the open pose uh, preprocessor. For that we change the image again to our ballerina. And then we change the model to open pose, yes, and of course we have to 
change our preprocessor to open pose. So I'm going to disable this one and enable open pose and then connect the output of that to my reroute node. Uh, let's start it up and see what is coming out. Uh, yeah, of course, I also changed the prompt to a chimpanzee hanging in tree. That's all uh, I, I often use, not too much words. Oh, and I also selected over here the cinematic photo style. That's, of course, the convenience of that uh, prompt styler. Well, our image is almost ready. Let's have a look what comes out. Yeah, there is our monkey and it has the exact pose of our ballerina, but it is hanging uh, nicely around in a tree. Well, this is actually all there is to it with um, control net. Uh, it's just a lot of fun and you can, of course, experiment with all the other models that are around. It's, it's a really yeah, a, a, a nice invention and fun to play with. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the links and downloads of these workflows are available uh, in the description. And uh, maybe see you back in the next video.